So Jeff, you're in uh, Lynchburg at Renaissance Academy of Martial Arts headquarters tonight. And what's your first thoughts about the city of Lynchburg? I haven't seen much, but I got to eat my first uh, chicken fillet. I love it. It's good. The uh, town looks nice. You know, I'm, I'm gonna get to experience a little bit of it tonight. So. So I take it this is your first trip to Lynchburg. Yeah, this is my first trip to Lynchburg. Uh, hopefully, first of many. You know, hopefully I get to come back here and visit the guys out here again. And obviously, you've you've been around the fight game for a long, long time. Um, what do you think about the talent that you see coming out of Virginia now, and and maybe the future for what you see in Virginia? Uh, there's always been a good level out in Virginia. I, I started a lot of my training in Virginia Beach. I know it's been similar elsewhere, Richmond, out this way. Uh, the, the few guys I'm training with today, I feel the same thing. I mean, the level's good. Everybody's doing the right things. And uh, As far as the fight game goes and, and the, the guys coming on the scene in the fight game, I'm sure we're going to see a lot more as far as the talent out of Virginia. Um, we understand that you're also shooting a documentary with Proximo Entertainment. Uh, how did that come about? Did they approach you or did you approach them? What, what went on there? Uh, the, the documentary was a kind of collaborated idea just over conversation about wouldn't it be cool if a fighter could document where they come from and, and how they were raised and what made them who they are and uh, this was a general idea not really involving me uh, then I ran into some struggles in my career and I started getting really amped up about getting back back on track and stuff like that and we thought that this might be a, a perfect chance to document a possible one of the best comebacks possibly in the sport and uh, we just geared up and we're going to go with it 100 percent so does, does the documentary focus uh you know on on, on you as a, as a young fighter or is it just on recent events that have happened in your career where, you, where you're fighting to get back to where you uh to where you stand i want to say that the the focus of the documentary is the, a character study of me and the type of person i am and where i came from and what made me the fighter that i am uh all kind of being court around the sport of MMA, and what it takes to get to the high levels, and, and not just get there, but stay there and dig back when you're in trouble. And I think it's going to be a motivational tool for a lot of the young, young up and coming fighters. But I think it's also going to be, like I said, that that character story for just the, the average fan that just wants to see more about the behind the scenes look at a fighter. That sounds good. And when is it slated to come out, and uh, where where can people get it from? Where's it going to be available at? We're actually wrapping it up this weekend. I'm, I'm doing my final studio interview. I think we have to collaborate a lot of uh, old fight footage and some vintage footage of mine and, and see what we're going to pull from that as far as highlight clips and stuff like that. But other than that, it's in the works, and I'm hoping that still in the first quarter of 2010, it will be ready to be released. And it's going to be a downloadable piece, first of all. And it's going to be free. It's going to be something that we make free to everybody. Uh, and it'll probably be like half hour episodes, maybe three or four. And then it'll also be available later on after we do the download. Uh, we'll be the, D the DVD will be for sale with some behind the scenes or some uh, outtakes and some extras and stuff like that. Uh, changing gears, you talked about some of the struggles that you've had in your career. Um, you were let go by the WEC a while ago, and since then you've chalked up two victories: one in Strike Force, uh, the other the other in XFO. Your latest was in Strike Force. What's your status with Strike Force right now? Would you like to fight for them again, or do you see better challengers elsewhere where you can go and uh, you can go and get that status back? Strike Force doesn't really do anything with my division, 135. Uh, I think the the deal was a one fight deal initially. I doubt I'll ever fight for them again. Uh, not that I didn't like fighting for them. It's that my home is with the WEC. That's where the the fighters in my weight class are primarily. That's what I'm striving to be at. And if I can't be there I really, at this point, I don't think I really want to even fight unless I go back up a weight class and maybe go over to Japan, like Dream, like stuff like this. So it's all up in the air right now, but I did get a verbal confirmation from the WEC that I'll be back early 2010. Uh, once they get through their first couple shows, we'll start looking at opponents and sign a deal. So we know you want to go back to the WEC, and uh, we know that you want you want to crack at the championship again. Brian Bowles, uh, and, and you've stated before that you would love to fight Miguel Torres. Um, out of the two, which one do you think would be a better opponent for yourself? Which one do you want to fight more? I think me and Miguel Torres would be a fight that needs to be done in Chicago. We've always promised we'd do that if it ever came down to it. I respect Miguel, you know, to no end. I, I tried to stir some things up back when he was a champ because uh, I was one fight away from getting a shot at him, and they were going to do that fight in Chicago. I mean, it's almost a perfect plan. We both had setbacks now. 
Uh, we're going to both dig back. Maybe we fight each other as contenders. Maybe we fight each other as champions. Who knows? But uh, definitely would like to fight him, him first. I'd, I'd like to watch that fight. Um, who are you scheduled to fight next and, and where? I have nothing scheduled. Um, I'm probably going to hold tight and wait till like April to make my uh, comeback to the WEC and just take a much needed break. Just coming off those two wins in one month and uh, the holidays and just kind of get my life back in order a little bit and uh, get back to training camp. We, we've covered a lot today. Is there anything else that you want to add about, about your career, where you're going next, and uh, what we can expect to see from you? Uh, just, I don't stop, man. I'm, not, I'm going, not going anywhere for a long time. Um, hopefully injuries subside a little bit, but if anybody, and I've had a lot of people express some interest in uh, some of the team current stuff and, and clothes and stuff like that, it's available at kstrez.com. Uh, that's kstrez with a Z, dot com, and uh, we're going to be launching a new team current site too with some videos and and all this kind of stuff, so that should be coming out hopefully first quarter as well of 2010. Excellent. Well, thanks a lot for your time, Jeff. Yeah. Thanks. Hey guys, this is Jeff Curran. I'm out here at Ram Martial Arts in Lynchburg, Virginia. I just finished up a seminar. Got a great group of guys out here, so if you're looking for a place to train, I definitely recommend it. And uh, they're looking at opening their new facility here soon. Uh, good staff of trainers, good black belt here, uh, Jamie Ridgeway and Pedro Sauer. So if you're in the area you want to train, check it out.